In a world where wars are fought with precision and speed, Israel has unveiled a weapon that could redefine defense forever. It's called the Barak MX 2.0, a smart shield that thinks, reacts, and protects like never before. But what makes it truly revolutionary? Let's dive in. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're exploring one of the most advanced defense systems ever created, Israel's Barak MX 2.0, a technology that's turning heads across the global military stage. You've probably heard of the Iron Dome, right? Well, think of Barak MX 2.0 as its smarter, faster, and more flexible cousin. Designed by Israel Aerospace Industries, IAI, this system isn't just another missile launcher. It's a complete, adaptive defense network capable of intercepting threats from aircraft, drones, cruise missiles, and even precision-guided weapons. What makes the Barak MX 2.0 so unique is its ability to integrate land, sea, and air defense into a single, smart ecosystem. Imagine a digital fortress that can learn, adapt, and coordinate with multiple systems at once. That's exactly what Israel has built. In this video, we'll break down how this technology works, why it's gaining worldwide attention, and whether it truly represents a smart defense revolution. So make sure to stick around until the end, because we're also revealing which countries have already invested millions in this cutting edge system, and why some experts believe the Barak MX 2.0 could soon change the balance of power in modern warfare. Let's begin with where it all started. The story of the Barak MX 2.0 begins decades ago with Israel's constant need for innovation. Surrounded by hostile neighbors and emerging aerial threats, Israel realized early that traditional air defenses wouldn't cut it. From this pressure came creativity, Systems like the Iron Dome for short-range rockets, David's Sling for medium threats, and the Aero System for, for ballistic missiles. Yet, something was missing a unified solution capable of adapting across all ranges and platforms. That's where the Barak Project was born. Initially designed as a naval missile defense system in the 1990s, Barak, meaning lightning in Hebrew, was built to protect warships from sea skimming missiles. Over time, IAI expanded the system's capabilities, transforming it from a ship-based defense into a modular, networked system capable of defending entire cities or even nations. By 2019, IAI officially introduced the Barak MX, calling it a smart, scalable air defense revolution. The 2.0 upgrade refined that idea further, improving reaction times, radar integration, and autonomous coordination between units. What's fascinating is that the Barak MX 2.0 isn't locked to a single platform. It can be mounted on trucks, ships, or stationary launchers, giving militaries incredible flexibility. In short, it's not just a missile system, it's a digital guardian adaptable to any battlefield on Earth. Now, let's dive into what makes the Barak MX 2.0 truly smart. At its core lies a modular command and control system capable of managing multiple radar feeds, communication links, and missile batteries simultaneously. Think of it as a brain commanding dozens of eyes and arms, all synchronized in real time. The system operates on three main layers, short, medium, and long range defense using different interceptor types for each. The MRD missile can engage threats up to 35 kilometers, the LRI die up to 70 kilometers, and the, the ER interceptor extends protection up to an impressive 150 kilometers. What's more, all these missiles share the same launcher design. That's where the MX, or modular exchange concept comes in. Operators can load any missile type as needed, making the system agile and cost efficient. But here's the secret sauce, intelligent integration. The Barak MX 2.0 uses advanced algorithms that can detect and classify targets autonomously, whether it's a drone swarm or a ballistic threat. 
The system prioritizes and intercepts with split-second precision. This level of automation reduces human error and speeds up response time dramatically. It doesn't just react, it predicts and responds. And in modern warfare, where every second counts, that's a game changer. One of the most impressive aspects of Barak MX 2.0 is how seamlessly it integrates with existing radar and defense systems. Unlike older defense platforms that required specific sensors or proprietary command centers, Barak MX can connect to almost any radar or early warning network a country already uses. This plug and play capability is a big reason nations are lining up to buy it. For example, a country could link its own radar network with the Barak MX 2.0 launchers, giving them full control without rebuilding their entire defense grid. It's like adding a powerful upgrade to your existing setup instead of replacing everything. The integration goes even further. Barak MX 2.0 can coordinate with naval and land forces simultaneously, creating a synchronized defense web. A missile launched from a destroyer at sea can share targeting data with land, based radars hundreds of kilometers away, ensuring that no threat slips through the cracks. This multi-domain approach represents a new era of warfare where data moves faster than missiles. It allows commanders to see the entire battle space in real time, enabling faster decisions and smarter defense tactics. In essence, Barak MX 2.0 transforms national defense into a connected thinking ecosystem. And that's what makes it truly revolutionary. So how effective is the Barak MX 2.0 in real world terms? According to IAI, the system boasts a kill probability above 90% when facing multiple simultaneous threats, and that's under rigorous testing conditions. Its radar system can detect, track, and engage over 100 targets at once, including stealth aircraft and low flying cruise missiles. The system's reaction time is another marvel, just a few seconds from detection to interception. That's made possible by its powerful LTLM series radar, one of the most advanced multi-function radars on the planet. Combined with real-time data fusion and automated target classification, it ensures that even unpredictable threats are neutralized before reaching their targets. The interceptors themselves are equally impressive. Using active radar seekers, they can home in on targets independently, even if radar guidance is jammed. The missiles are launched vertically, giving 360-degree coverage without repositioning launchers, crucial for modern, dynamic battlefields. All this power comes in a compact mobile package. Trucks carrying Barak MX launchers can deploy anywhere, set up in minutes, and connect wirelessly to command centers. It's mobility with brains, and that combination is redefining how nations think about defense in the 21st century. The world has taken notice. Several countries have already signed deals to acquire the Barak MX 2.0, recognizing it as one of the most adaptable systems available today. Morocco, for example, became one of the first to deploy it, securing the system in a deal worth roughly 500 million. Slovakia followed with a major purchase in 2024, investing over 560 million to strengthen its air defenses amid growing regional tensions. India, already a major user of earlier Barak variants, has integrated the system into its naval and coastal defenses. Colombia has also approved acquisition, seeing it as a cost-effective way to upgrade its air protection capabilities. Why are so many nations interested? Simple, flexibility, and autonomy. The Barak MX 2.0 doesn't force buyers into a rigid ecosystem. They can customize their defense layers, add their own radars, or even share network data with allies. That's a huge advantage in today's geopolitical environment where every country wants control and compatibility without dependence on one supplier. In just a few years, the Barak MX 2.0 has gone from prototype to one of the most sought after defense exports in Israel's history. And that's saying something for a country already famous for its defense tech. People often ask, how does Barak MX 2.0 compare to Iron Dome? 
Israel's most famous defense system, while both are built by Israeli firms, they serve very different purposes. Iron Dome is designed primarily to intercept short-range rockets and artillery shells, fast, low-flying projectiles, typically launched by militant groups. It's perfect for urban defense and point protection. Barak MX 2.0, however, is built for strategic, multi-layered protection. It can take down aircraft, cruise missiles, and even some ballistic threats, things Iron Dome simply isn't designed to handle. In many ways, Barak MX 2.0 fills the gap between Iron Dome and higher end systems like David Sling or Aero 3. Another key difference is mobility and integration. Iron Dome is optimized for specific radar and launcher setups, while Barak MX 2.0 can integrate into any country's defense grid. This gives it a far wider global appeal. In short, if Iron Dome is the local neighborhood shield, Bark MX 2.0 is the National Guardian, a flexible, layered system capable of defending both skies and seas. Together, they form the backbone of Israel's comprehensive, smart defense doctrine, where every system plays a role in a unified, intelligent network. At the heart of the Barack MX 2.0 revolution lies a combination of AI-driven automation, sensor fusion, and real-time communication networks. Each component, from radar to missile, is equipped with processors capable of analyzing threat patterns and making microsecond decisions. The command module, often referred to as the Battle Management Center, functions like a supercomputer in a war zone. It collects live data from multiple sensors, predicts incoming trajectories, and assigns the best interceptor for each target. This autonomous decision making dramatically reduces human workload and reaction delays. AI also enables adaptive learning. The system can remember previous threat patterns, like drone swarm formations or specific missile signatures, and optimize its future responses. Over time, it gets smarter, faster, and more efficient. Another game-changing feature is the open architecture design. Developers can integrate future upgrades, new sensors, or even foreign-made missiles without rewriting the entire code base. This ensures that Barack MX 2.0 remains relevant for decades to come, even as technology and threats evolve. In simple terms, Israel has built a system that's not only advanced today, it's future-proof. And in modern warfare, where new threats appear overnight, that kind of adaptability is priceless. The introduction of Barack MX 2.0 has significant geopolitical consequences. It's not just a weapon, it's a statement of how nations are preparing for the future of warfare. Countries are realizing that traditional siloed defense systems can't handle the multi-domain threats of today drones, cruise missiles, hypersonic weapons, and cyber interference. By offering a system that integrates all these defense layers seamlessly, Israel is effectively setting a new global benchmark. This also shifts power dynamics. Smaller nations that couldn't previously afford complex missile shields now have access to a modular, cost-scalable system. For Israel, it's a major diplomatic tool. Defense exports have long been part of its foreign relations strategy, and Barak MX 2.0 enhances that influence. Each sale strengthens military ties, creates long-term maintenance partnerships, and expands Israel's global defense footprint. On a strategic level, this system embodies a broader military shift, intelligent defense networks replacing static systems. The Barak MX 2.0 doesn't just shoot down threats, it connects, communicates, and learns. In doing so, it's redefining how countries think about sovereignty and security in the age of data-driven warfare. As we look ahead, one thing is clear, the Barak MX 2.0 is only the beginning. Israel's defense sector continues to push boundaries with AI integration, cloud-based command systems, and autonomous interceptors. Future upgrades may include laser-based countermeasures or space, linked tracking capabilities, extending protection even beyond Earth's atmosphere. What makes this system particularly significant is its philosophy defense 
that thinks. Instead of reacting to threats one by one, Barak MX 2.0 envisions a world where every sensor, missile, and radar works as part of an intelligent, self-healing network. This is the essence of Israel's smart defense revolution, a shift from manpower, heavy defense to machine accelerated protection. In an age where drones can strike with precision and missiles, can maneuver unpredictably, this level of intelligence is not just useful, it's essential. The Barak MX 2.0 may very well become the standard blueprint for 21st century defense, merging software intelligence with battlefield hardware. Whether you view it as innovation or evolution, one thing's undeniable Israel has once again changed the rules of modern warfare. If you found this deep dive fascinating, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next tech breakdown. Drop a comment below. Do you think the Barak MX 2.0 truly represents a smart defense revolution, or is it just another step in a long technological race? Let's hear your thoughts.